When the Israelites and Judeans went into exile, overtaken by the Assyrians and Babylonians, not all of them came back. The northern Israelite tribes were dispersed into all the nations. The dispersion was a way of spreading the seed of man back into the nations so that all the nations would be blessed. The Elohim promised that he would bring those tribes back from the ends of the earth back to the land of Israel. In 1998, Sinka Jovabichi went searching for the lost tribes. He found descendants of each of the ten lost tribes. Descendants of the tribe of Dan was found living in Ethiopia and have returned home to Israel, finally, after being in exile for over 2,500 years. Now they are the ones called Colossians. And by these descendants we received the book of Enoch after over 1,500 years of it being lost. In Bukhara, Uzbekistan, people who are called Heftalites and Issachara were none other than the tribes of Neftali and Issachar. A city in which they lived was called Samarkand, which in Hebrew means Sumerian city. These tribes originally lived in a place called Samaria by the Israelites. In Kaifeng, China, many people in their birth papers were called Yuda, which means Jews, even though they had lived in China indefinitely. In Burma, India, a people called Manasa had a prophecy that told them, Shalova will redeem us. Shiloh was the holy place for the northern ten tribes and their Elohim is Yahuwah, some people say Jehovah, and these people are the lost tribe of Manasseh, or Manasha. They had prayer shawls much like Jews, with the traditional blue thread attached that they called Pelaquan. And in Manipur, India, some people called Jalamgan were trying to form an independent Israelite state. They even had the Star of David on their flag. In Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Bombay, India, a people called the Bene Israel live. Old coins from these people had Jebulon written on them. This is the lost tribe of Zebulon. In Herat, Afghanistan, remains existed that the said Jews used to live there. They were called Afridi, and were people of the lost tribe of Ephraim. They are no longer there. But these Israelite descendants have also been found in Kandahar, Afghanistan, and Morden, Pakistan. Even in Carthage, Tunisia, were found descendants of the tribe of Asher, and a place called Il Dajerbi were found descendants of the Israelite Colin priests. The Bible names some places where the Israelites were taken during exile. The mountains of the Medes, now called Kerfistan and the Caucasus, the river Gozon, and places called Hala, Hara, and Habua. On the border of Afghanistan and Pakistan, the Khyber Pass is the Habur Pass. A river called the Ghaznia River is the river Gozon. And 300 kilometers from Khyber, a city called Harat, which is Hora. Pathons, where we get the word Afghan, were Muslims, but lived by a law called Pukhtun Wali, which is Old Testament Hebrew law in a very strict eye for an eye way. Many people who formed the Taliban that our country seeks to annihilate. They call themselves Muskahel, which means the people of Moses. The tribes that make up their numbers are Rabani, Ravani, Shimwani, Gadun, Afridi, and Waziri, who keep their hair long. These are the lost tribes of Reuben, Levi, Simeon, Gad, Ephraim, and Naziri, who also keep their hair long.
It's too bad that Simca in recent years fell to believing the lies of Gnostics and Illuminati. To present the tomb of Yahushua and demonstrate the lie that Yahushua didn't die being impaled, had children with Mary Magdalene, and moved to France. This is in reference to the video on the lost tomb of Jesus aired on the Discovery Channel. But if Yahushua didn't die, our sins are not taken away because there's no temple to sacrifice for atonement. And if Yahushua didn't rise from the dead, we have no hope of eternal life. If Yahushua had children that seeded the Merovingian dynasty, then we are under their ruling bloodline rightly, and all the slaughtering, corruption, and deception they propagate is absolutely right in Yahuwah's eyes. Now do you still want to believe those lies? And the tribes were even dispersed into the Americas. The Lost Luna Stone in New Mexico, dated around 1000 BC, proves beyond any doubt that Hebrews were in the Americas. It's the Decalogue in Paleo-Hebrew. Unfortunately, people still want to hide the truth instead of accepting it to be willingly ignorant and deface this ancient proof of the Hebrew Israelites in the Americas. Similarities between some of the tribes of Native Americans and the Hebrews just cannot be explained except to admit that they are different branches of the same culture. Their traditions, or tassels, tzitzit, language, circumcision, and even their stories of origin are strikingly similar. If the Nephilim had spread abroad the polluted seed that Israel was to eradicate, it can easily be understood that the pure seed of Adam, Enoch, Noah, and Abraham was spread abroad as well. For look, I am commanding, and I shall sift the house of Israel among the Gentiles as one sifts with the seed, yet not a grain falls to the ground. And you, son of man, take a stick for yourselves and write on it for Yehuda and for the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick and write on it for Yosef, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions. Then bring them together for yourself into one stick, and they shall become one in your hand. And it shall be in that day, declares Yahuwah, that Yahuwah sets his hand at that time to recover the remnant of his people who are left, from Ashur, and from Mitzrayim, and from Pathros, and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. And he shall raise a banner for the nations, and gather the outcasts of Israel, and assemble the dispersed of Yehuda from the four corners of the earth. No nation, race, or culture is exempt. The seed of the serpent may very well be in all of us, but the seed of Israel may very well be in us too. But it's your choice to bind yourself to them, worship them, obey them, or your choice to bind yourself to Yahuwah through his covenants and his son to worship him and obey him. You cannot say the Lord, Baal, God, the Son. Or you can say Yahushua. Yahuwah is our salvation. But there is only one name by which we are saved. 